time for the A final then here at Lakeside under the floodlights. 19 carts on track for this one. It will be a 30 minute race. As always, the uh, top names starting from towards the back of the grid. Look out for cart number 16 of uh, Paul Gasson. Three round, round wins under his belt already this year. Also, Adam Kellett, he's had two. He's in cart number 13, lining up in numerical order as always. Danny Herlock in number 15, also a double winner already this year. Waiting for the green lights and away we go. 30 minutes of cart action on this tight and tricky lakeside circuits. Leading them off will be number one, Sinclair Glover, and number two of James Crane from the front row. And it's Crane who's gone into the lead from the front of the grid. Round the hairpin section for the first time. Are they all going to make it round? Some heavy bunching towards the back of the field already. A couple of carts will run out wide here and almost into the tyres there. Number 14 of Clinton Bell. Had a round win in the Pro Class earlier this season, Clinton at Red Lodge. So he drops to the rear of the field. It's the number two of James Crane that has taken up the early lead from the front row of the grid. Lee Chapman and Dimitri Oros, two of our Clubman Class drivers, fighting it out in there as well for the lead of this race. Top name still towards the back at the moment. There's number 14 fighting back after running wide earlier on, Clinton Belt. The leaders head through the hairpin. The first four or five starting to break away. The fifth place man spins out there. I think that was the number five of Dan Norrington who has had the spin there going into the left-hander. So that's left a slight gap in the field. Everybody else had to slow up. And watch for the man in the orange helmet there, Marcio Firmino. He's come through quite well into the top five or six places already. He's in cart number 12. Had a round win earlier this year at Bayford, the super pro class driver. The battle for third position being fought out at the moment between the uh, number four there, that's Dimitri Oros, and uh, number one of Sinclair Glover, our pole sitter for this race. One car clipping the tyres there, coming out of the final corner. I think that was the number nine of Nathan Willits. And still out front is James Crane by a clear margin in cart number two. Sinclair Glover has uh, dropped back into fourth place now. Marcio Firmino is still up there in fifth position, giving chase to the leaders. Could be uh, one of the favourites here in the closing stage. There's a long way to go yet. Matthew Chaplin taking some curb there through the uh, hairpin section. Out onto the quicker back section of the course. Go the leaders then. There's the battle for seventh position. In the middle of that is at number 13 of Adam Kellett, a round winner, winner earlier in this season. They try and go three wide up towards the line there. There's Kellett on the inside in number 13. The leaders heading into the hairpin section once again. James Crane being reeled in slightly now by number three of Lee Chapman. Third place number four of Dimitri Oros. Then we've got the number 12 up into fourth place now. Marcio Firmino has got ahead of Sinclair Glover. Somebody going off there. That's the number 17 coming out of the hairpin there. Taylor Norton in the uh, number 17 cart. Had a round win earlier this season at Buckmore Park in the Super Pro category. And there's the race for fifth position. Down to uh, fifth now, looks like, is uh, Sinclair Glover, our pulse here. But here's the uh, race for the lead between carts two and three. James Crane and Lee Chapman, one of the pace setters this season in the uh, Clubman category, chasing the uh, number two cart of Crane. He's a pro-class driver, so Chapman doing well to keep up with the pro-class man at the front of the field. They've pulled clear of uh, third place man at number four, Dimitri Oros. Then we've got number 12 of Marcio Firmino. There's Adam Kelly, number 13. Could he be one of the favourites here? Took consecutive round wins at Buckmore Park and Red Lodge earlier this year in the Super Pro category. Hard on the uh, tail there of number 14 of Clinton Bell. I think that is up there as well. Here are the two leaders into the hairpins once again. Still plenty of time to go in this race. We're coming up to the five-minute mark. Over the uh, hairpins they go, down into the right-hander towards the back of the circuit. Firmino has now got through into third place past Dimitri Oros. And I think Adam Kellett is up behind them. Also in there we've got the number 10 of Alex Bridger, the gold crash helmet get to take a round win this year. He had second places here at Lakeside and at Buckmore Park earlier in the season. Back at the midfield battles. It's close all the way down the order in this one. It's tight but a quick circuit. Plenty of elevation changes as you can see. Especially in the latter part of the lap. Here 
there are the two leaders into the hairpins once again they're still nose to tail having a look up the inside there lee chapman coming out of the right hander wouldn't quite make it stick it's Firmino still in third place and the number 15 of danny herlock is now up into fourth position now, he won the first couple of rounds of the year in the sp category super pro at lakeside and buckmore park looking for his second lakeside win of the year He's trying to catch Firmino here for third place at the moment. Two of the quickest names in this race. The two leaders, have they built up enough of an advantage? Behind them, the number four of Dimitri Oros. And behind them, it looks like it's still uh, Sinclair Glover in the number one in the blue crash helmet. Here are the leaders through the hairpin section once again. Still hanging on for dear life in front is the uh, number two cart of James Crane. Firmino in third place. They're all over each other in the midfield as well string out a little through the hairpins now there is the number 13 of Adam Kellett he's lost a, a couple of places in there now Lee Chapman in at number three putting real pressure on our race leader they're across the line almost side by side I thought Black Chapman was going to get through there as they went across the line but James Crane still just about hanging on as they go into the first couple of corners through the chicane there then out towards the hairpins they drop down to the lower part of the course James Crane still with the lead. Meantime, 15 Danny Herlock has got through into third place ahead of Firmino. Then the battle for fifth position is headed by Dimitri Oros. So a change for third place. Danny Herlock on the attack looking for his second Lakeside A final win this year. Meantime, James Crane working overtime to hold off. The number three of Chapman who has a look on the inside. Surely going through this time. Yes, he's got him coming out of the last corner. Lee Chapman finally takes the lead of this A final here at Lakeside. Lee Chapman, one of the pace setters in the Clubman category this year. Can he hold on for an overall win? Not if James Crane from the pro class has got anything to do with it. He's fighting back as hard as he can. Without a round win this year in the pro category, hence his start from the front of the grid. Further back there's the train for fifth position being headed. I think that's the number 16 of Paul Gasson. Already a triple round winner this year here at Lakeside in the opening round, also at Rye House and Buckmore Park as well. He could be one of the favourites here as he gets through towards the leaders. It's a bit like the uh, hare and the tortoise at the moment. I should say the hare and the hounds because we've got uh, two uh, drivers up front playing the uh, hare in this one. The rest of the hounds behind trying to catch up. Have they built up enough of an advantage? Well, I'd say not because look at uh, Danny Herlock closing in in the number 15 with the black and white crash helmet there. Oros in the orange helmet, uh, uh, Firmino in the orange helmet, sorry, in fourth place. And we could have a change for fifth here, the number nine of uh, Nathan Willits making a move up into fifth position. Gross fighting there, cart number eight trying to make a move. That's Luke Reed in the grey and black there on the attack on the far side of the course. Great racing here under the lights at Lakeside. Coming out of the final corner there is the number 10 of Alex Bridger with the gold crash helmet and now the battle is on for second place because Danny Herlock has caught James Crane for second he's going to have a look here coming through the hairpin section Danny Herlock up the inside he's going to take second place yes he's got him through the right hander there and now he will go after race leader Lee Chapman the hounds have caught the hairs in this one there's Sinclair Glover who started from pole he's dropped back down the order over the bump there towards the last corner come the race leaders. The race for fifth position heading through towards the end of the lap. One, two, three, four, five, six carts in there. In the battle for second place now, Marcio Firmino has uh, caught our third place man, James Crane. Still leading his category, the pro class. The others in this group are super pro drivers. The next group heads through, headed by Paul Gasser. Behind him, it's Nathan Willits. Also in there, number 14, Clinton Bell. We saw him have a bit of a moment on the first lap. Marcio Firmino on the attack. He's going to take third place away into the final corner. Yes, he's through. Up into third, but uh, James Crane doesn't give way. He's fighting back there. Pick up our leader in just a moment. Yes, there they go through into the hairpins, and uh, Firmino holds the place. He's holding third, the two leaders not far ahead now. Danny Herlock trying to close down on Lee Chapman for the lead. 
One third mark is reached, so a long way to go yet. And they've already, from the back of the grid, almost caught the uh, early leaders. Number 14 of its sideways there, Clinton Bell under five from Dmitry Oros. They're battling for eighth position here. Clinton Bell in the white crash helmet. Oros behind him there, being caught by the, uh, I think that's number 13 of Adam Kellett in behind them. Good stuff so far. There's Adam Kelly, number 13. There's a look on the inside coming down to the first corner. There are the leaders. Danny Herlock has almost caught race leader Lee Chapman. He's within a couple of carts at lengths now. We're not yet at half distance. Further back here's a group uh, for 12th position, led by number 11 of Lewis Nurse. He's got the number 17 of Taylor Norton behind him and number 7 of Alex Cass. Behind him, number 18, Carlis Elmanis the previous round at Ella Park. Quiet race for him so far in this one. Here comes Adam Kellett making a move, going into the uh, final corner there, past the number four of Dimitri Oros. See them really hunker down behind the steering wheels, heading into the straights here. Still Danny Herlock not able to catch Lee Chapman for the lead of this one. Chapman still out front. As they head out onto the back of the course. Look at this, three wide into the hairpin section. Somebody over the curving there, that was the number 11 of Lewis Nurse and up the inside the 18 pushes his way through and gains two places, good driving Carlis Elmanis, I said he's had a quiet race up to now, he must have heard me meantime there go the two leaders nose to tail across the line once again still leading the way, it is Lee Chapman, but for how much longer because Danny Herlock's up the inside as they head into the hairpin section and he's got him Danny Herlock into the lead in number 15. Chapman tries to fight back, but he's on the outside for the right-hander. And Danny Herlock, your new race leader in number 15. Third place is Matteo Firmino in the number 12 cart with the orange crash helmet. Now, can he catch our two leaders here? Down the far side, still the number 15 cart, but Lee Chapman's not giving up here. He's fighting back. Great duel between these two. They're starting to come into back marker traffic now. Could this proven issue here. Over the line they go. Coming up on, I think that's the number one card. Yes, that's Sinclair Glover who started on pole position. He nearly collides with race leader Danny Herlock. He needs to get out of the way here. But there's not many places you can get out of the way on such a tight circuit. He does so now. He moves to the, to the left, but all this is allowing Marcio Firmino to close on the two leaders as well. The two leaders have got past Sinclair Glover now. He was passed for the lead on the first lap and has dropped back ever since then. Now a lap down, Firmino's got to deal with the uh, number one cart now as well. Sinclair Glover moves aside, lets him through. There are the leaders, Danny Herlock in number 15, looking for a final win number three this year. Coming up towards uh, halfway now, we've got uh, 13 minutes gone or thereabouts of this race. Still Herlock, Lee Chapman, Firmino is third. Quite a distance clear of James Crane, who's still there in fourth place. And the rest of them come through in a bunch there in the midfield. Good little fight going on there. Adam Kellett at the back of it, chasing the number 10 of Alex Bridger. They've got number 14 of Clinton Bell up ahead of them. That's the battle for eighth position. Heading onto the back of the circuit once again. Over the line, meanwhile, go the leaders. Amino staying with them. Here's that battle for eight, heading down the slope into the final corner and up the inside goes the uh, number nine cart, I think, no, the number ten cart, sorry, of Alex Bridger to take eighth place. Trying to follow him is Adam Kellett past Clinton Bell. Leaders head through the hairpins once again. James Crane, number two, still in fourth position. And we've got the number five, Dan Norrington. Still running well. I think he might be a lap down, not 100% sure. He just head through the final corner, lapping another back marker there. Marcio Firmino has got them in his sights. Midfield head towards the end of another. Between these two for the lead now, they're lapping the uh, number six cart of Matthew Chaplin. He lets the third place man through there, through the hairpins. Can Marcio Firmino catch these top two? His hand in the air briefly there, Firmino. I think uh, he was saying thank you to the back marker, possibly, for letting him through. Look at this, five of them together 
in this group for eighth position now, led by Alex Bridger ahead of Clinton Bell, Adam Kellett and the rest of them. Leaders come through to complete another lap very shortly. Got to be wary of back markers here. Into the hairpin they come. Firmino is still not up with them. It's between these three for the lead of the race now. James Crane on his own in fourth place in number two. Crane still leading the pro class. Lee Chapman, the Clubman class driver, still second overall. Leading Super Pro is the overall leader, Danny Herlock. Ten cart now under fire. Alex Bridger from number eight of Luke Reed. They've got number four of Dimitri Oros behind them. Alex Cass on the attack there, number seven in the bright blue race suit. That's the main focus of the uh, midfield at the moment. Bridger and Reed pointing it out together. Great driving all the way down the order though. One of the marshals just uh, repositioning one of the tyre stacks there on the final corner. There goes our fourth place man, Alex Crane, in number two. Behind him is Sinclair Glover, so here's the battle for fifth coming through now, headed by Paul Gasson in number 16. He's running very wide through the hairpin there, and uh, one cart into the pits. That's number 10 of Alex Bridger, I think, that's pulled in. So possibly a problem for Bridger. Race continues on. This is the 17th place battle at the back of the field, so the leaders will be through shortly. Marshall's still working away on the tyres where someone's gone off earlier on. Here are the leaders. Just a couple of cart lengths in it then, and Firmino not able to close in on the top two at the moment. We're at about half distance now, just over half distance, in fact, in this A final here at Lakeside. There's the battle for fifth. 16 and the 9, Paul Gasson chased by Nathan Willits. That's up there in 6th position. Over the back there goes Adam Kellett in number 13. Noticed Alex Bridger pulling into the pit lane, so we'll drop down the order. Here's the race for 5th place. Between the 16 and the 9, Gasson and Willits. Still Danny Herlock, who leads overall in cart number 15. That's on the back of the circuit at the moment. Leading Lee Chapman. Nine cart being reeled in slightly now. Clinton Bell in behind them. He's in seventh place. As uh, rejoining from the pits, the number 10 of Alex Bridger. I don't know what the problem was there. Still out front, Danny Herlock for a final win number three this season. Here are the leaders, Firmino still keeping them in his sights in number 12 with that bright orange crash helmet, easy to recognise. The gap has increased slightly, Danny Herlock pulling ahead. James Crane still on his own in fourth place, the battle for fifth starting to make its way into the back marker traffic now. 16, 9 and 14. Gasson, Willits and Bell. go the lead group three just over ten minutes of the race still to go so Danny Herlock with plenty of driving still to do if he's going to hold off Lee Chapman he'll be desperate to try and take an overall win I don't think anybody in the lead battle is playing their points uh, joker today or double points so we'll get the standard points for this A final I think Main focus is this fifth place battle at the moment. They're coming up on one of the back markers. Sinclair Glover about to be lapped in the number one. In the second half of this A final now. Lap traffic hasn't really been an issue for the pace setters in this one. There go the leaders into the uh, infield hairpin section. Here's the fifth place fight running nose to tail. Number six of Matthew Chaplin, I think, being lapped there. And have a change of position here in among the traffic. I said back marker traffic hadn't been an issue. Struggling to get past the number one car there. Oh, and a spin out there. That was the number nine of Nathan Willits. Had a, had a half spin, and Sinclair Glover, I think it was, knocked him straight again. So 
So he saved the spin. He's lost a place to Clinton Bell, and he's got the number eight on his tail of Luke Reed. The number six behind them, Matthew Chaplin, has been lapped. So a slight change in the order there caused by that half spin for the number nine of Nathan Willits. I would say we've got about another 15 laps to go in this A final in the time we've got. We've got about 10 minutes to go. Exciting racing in the midfield. Still Danny Herlock setting the pace up front. They're all over each other in the main battle for fifth position. Started to close up a little now. There's number eight of Luke Reed. Throws it through the hairpin section, tackling a back marker. He's ahead of Alex Bridger, fighting back after having to make a pit stop earlier on. Somebody else into the pits. That's number one of Sinclair Glover, the man who started on pole for this race. Another car running wide there. I think that might have been Dan Norrington in number five. Three leaders heading through the hairpin section. Still no change up front. We concentrate on the dicing in the midfield. Throwing these little carts around. Number four in there. That is Dimitri Oros. Battling slightly further down the order. Reed down low behind his steering wheel. Really flinging his cart around. Great to watch. Number 10 of Alex Bridger behind him. Nathan Willits behind them. So Bridger, he's on the lead lap, has done very well indeed to come back up the order there and uh, into the top ten placings after making a stop. Here's a battle uh, being dealt with by the leaders. They're lapping more back marker traffic there, Danny Herlock. We caught a glimpse of him in the hairpin section. Here comes that fight so further down the order. Somebody's gone into the tyres there on the uh, outside of the last corner. Couldn't quite make out who that was. Number 19 sliding about there, Steve Bateman. He started at the back of the field on the tail of number nine of Nathan Willits, who had that half spin earlier on. Behind them, number four of Oros, battling with 17 of Taylor Norton, and number seven of Alex Cass. For our leaders in just a few moments' time, there they were going into the hairpin. We concentrate on battles further down the order. Nathan Willits under fire from Steve Bateman in number 19. Confused with the Australian motorsport star of the same name, of course. It's a matter of uh, v mostly, mostly V8 engine machines down in Australia. Between Luke Reed and Alex Bridger continues on there behind Clinton Bell in number 14, following that slight uh, shake-up in the midfield. Not long to go now, only about seven or eight minutes more. The race continues on under the lakeside footprints. Such a tight little track this is. Takes a lot of skill, a lot of power in the arm muscles as well to wrestle these carts around. Sort of a hand signal there from Alex Bridger. Is he still having problems with his cart, I wonder? Fighting away with uh, Luke Reed in number eight. They're closing on Clinton Bell. They're all over each other, fighting for seventh place. And uh, Alex Bridges done very well indeed, as we said, to make his way back up the order after having to make a stop earlier on. Now pulling clear of this group uh, further down in the lower reaches of the top ten. Still your leader is Danny Herlock up front in the number 15 car. Still got Lee Chapman behind him in second place. Still third is uh, Marcio Firmino. And still in fourth place, the number two of James Craig. They're concentrating on the midfield. There's no changes uh, up front, but plenty of changes have taken place further back. The fight for seventh place. Somebody bouncing off the tyres there, coming out of the hairpin. That was the number four of Dimitri Oros. the closing stages very shortly then here is our leader Danny Herlock he's pulled out a lead now coming up to lap Carlos Almanis in the uh, number 18 cart it's rare to see him go out to go a lap down he did take a round win earlier this season at Ella Park but struggling slightly here between Bridger and the number 14 of Clinton Bell so Bridger has taken Bell up into sixth place now it's impressive from Alex Bridger. There's 
the midfield fight going through. Still uh, no real change in the order there. Steve Bateman still in the middle of that in number 19. Started last on the grid. Right up there towards the top of the points in at Super Pro at the moment, despite not having won a round this year. This result being a second place in the opening round here at Lakeside. Going towards the closing stages now of this A final. Bridger on the tail of the 16 of Paul Gasson, trying to move up into fifth position now. Remarkable recovery by Alex Bridger. There's only a handful of laps left to go now. There's only about five minutes on the clock as Paul Cass in number seven tries to make a move on Taylor Norton there, coming out of the hairpin section. Alex Cass, I should say. Taylor Norton holds him off in the number 17 around the final part of the lap. Bateman goes through, here's Alex Cass on the attack, further ahead, the battle between 16 and 10, Paul Gasson and number 10 Alex Bridger fighting for fifth position, they've dropped uh, quite a way behind the uh, leading quartet now, so Clinton Bell in number 14 in behind them, then it's the uh, number 8 of Luke Reed next in the order I think. Battle 4 11. It's Alex Cass on the attack and he takes the place away there. Only about four or five minutes of this race left to go now. It's a final. He's going to pick up points this time around. Alex Bridger has made the move up into fifth position now. He's taken number 16 of Paul Gasson. Vincent Bell behind them, then it's uh, number eight of Luke Reed. So, well, Alex Bridger, one of the drives of this race to come back through after making that quick pit stop. Meantime, Taylor Norton still under fire from Alex Cass. They've been swapping places for the last couple of laps. Moved ahead of Dimitri Oros as well in the number four. Steve Bateman in this battle as well in number 19. There's Bateman in number 19 heading through the battle between Norton and Cass. They've got Oros behind them. Meantime, there's our fourth place man, James Crane. We've almost forgotten about the leaders. There's been no change between our uh, top four. Vincent Bell again running wide out of the hairpin there in number 14 onto the curbing. Didn't get near the tyres this time, though, fortunately. Still, your leader is Danny Hurlock in the number 15. Cart, there he goes. The third place man for Mino in the bright orange crash helmet. Danny Herlock has built up a very clear lead now. Oops, as uh, Sinclair Glover has tangled with. Uh, is that our fourth place man? Yes, it was. James Crane has tangled with a back marker there, Sinclair Glover, and Crane has spun. So he's lost fourth place. And now up to fourth, it is, uh, I think, Alex Bridger. Yes, he's come through into fourth place. So his recovery drive continues on ahead of Paul Gasson. Disaster there for. James Crane, he's spun well down the order in the uh, number two carts. There he is, he's down to, uh, well, I make it about 12th place. So a disaster in the last few laps for James Crane. He was on for fourth place and a potential win in the pro class. So we'll try and work out who is leading the pro category now. Not too sure who it is at the moment. We'll see in the final results who wins pro. Clubman class still being led by Lee Chapman in that superb second overall. Coming towards the closing stages of this race now. The checkered flag in just a couple of laps time and it's going to be a win for Danny Herlock in the number 15 cart. Since he got past the number three of Lee Chapman, he has dominated this race. Surely heading for his third A final victory this year. Dealt with the back markers superbly. Coming up towards the conclusion now of another A final here at uh, Lakeside. The second round held here this year, round eight of ten in the series. Here's the fight for fifth position. Paul Gasson being hounded by Clinton Bell. They've been the main feature of this race. Alex uh, Luke Reed in behind them in number eight.
15, Danny Herlock being able to uh, take it easy, I would think, over these last couple of laps. Before the chequered flag goes out shortly, it will be uh, a final win number three this year for Danny Herlock in number 15. He will take the win in this A final. Right, a late tangle there, somebody spun around in the midfield battle late on. It matters not for Danny Herlock as he takes the win in this A final. Second place will go to Lee Chapman and third, completing the podium, will be Marcio Firmino. Congratulations Danny Herlock then, that's three A final wins out of eight rounds this year ahead of Lee Chapman and Marcio Firmino completing the podium.